Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I'm back today to bring you this exciting unboxing. Now, I know I'm a little bit behind on this, and everybody has probably already seen these unboxed by multiple YouTubers. If you are like me, <laughs> and you are a doll review junkie on YouTube, totally check out Cupcake Unicorn Toys. They have a really cool channel. Um, they do a lot of doll reviews. Actually, it seems like they do mostly doll reviews. Sometimes My Little Pony stuff. And uh, old and new. And they have a, some really great reviews up of these OMG lights. But I'm going to go ahead and do one of my own. I nitpicked at the reviews a little bit. But I don't like to watch the whole thing if I plan on getting them. And honestly, this is one I wasn't planning on getting. I was planning on only getting um, Groovy Girl. But there was something about her when I saw her that just was very different to me. And I like differentness in my collection. I like to have a whole bunch of different stuff. But uh, the boxes are cool. Uh, where it looks like this is like a coloring picture. And, uh, well, before I, before I show you the effect, which you probably already know, let's just read what's going on in the box here. So... These boxes are obviously a lot slimmer and smaller than the other editions, and this is actually the cheapest one. I believe this was $24.99, and the original Series 1 and Series 2 are $26.99, so it's a, about $2 less, so you're getting a little bit less packaging, a little bit less accessories for the $2. Um... But you have 15 surprises. Unbox fashions, dress me, and shine bright. She has black light surprises. The package becomes a playset, and this is angles. Uh, so you pull this tab right here, and the coloring book version of her turns into the a painted version. So this is obviously double layered to have this magical effect, but it looks really cool, I think. They do a good job with that on the boxes. And in fact, I love the boxes on these OMGs so much that I haven't disposed of any of them other than Crystal's because Crystal has a box that can't be saved once you dig into it and I had to open her. So, here is the side of the box. It says, Hey Sis. This is the little sister here. I think her name is Shapes or something like that, but I, I, I heard. The top of this is not really too appealing. It might actually be appealing in the black light. We don't know. But it's a neon uh, green, um, green, a neon pink see-through here. And then on the back here, it says, OMG, we sisters invite all our fabulous BBs to the advent of the se season. It's light camera fashion as we hit the neon carpet in our boldest and brightest looks. Get ready to glow, because when the black lights hit, we reveal our outrageous glowing surprises. And then it has all four of the, their silhouettes on the bottom. And it says, let's be friends, hashtag collect OMGs. And then it says angles on the side here, and I don't really know how to open this. <laughs> um, there is a, oh, maybe the slides, is this slide? Or is this open on the side here? I think it might open on the side here with tape. See, I told you I didn't really pay attention to many of the reviews I looked at. Okay. After I do this, I get to go back and actually look at them to their full extent. I ripped the box. Great. Great, guys. Great. Okay. Oh, more. There was more tape. So let me get a... Let me get scissors, shears I'm not supposed to be using to take the tape off of here. And I, I bet you there's some on the bottom, too. Yeah. I get that tape, too. That's why I ripped it, because there was more tape. I didn't rip it too bad. I'm, just, I'm kind of okay with where I did. Okay, so it opens up like that. Am I right? And then this comes out. I'm probably doing this whole thing wrong. Um, maybe it's supposed to open up over here. Oh, no. Alright, let me put this back in here. Maybe that wasn't supposed to open. We'll figure this out, guys. I think this opens over here. 
on the other side. So there's tape there, and then there's tape here. Yeah, this is going to be the longest one ever. Sorry, guys. I'm an, OM I'm an OMG Lights novice here. So I think maybe this opens like this. Maybe it opens on this side. So just pull here. And then maybe that opens over here. <laughs> I'm so confused, guys. Uh, Alright, I didn't open that. No, I did. I did that tape. Is there tape here, too? Let's try that again. It probably opens up like this. There it goes. Okay. Alright, so I don't understand how it's a playset. We'll, I guess, see after. I'm pretty sure I'm opening up everything wrong. Maybe not. But here she is. So I've heard lots of people say that they've had issues with her makeup being smeared or smudged. It looks like our girl's good, but let's just, uh, let's go ahead and take everything out of the box. And then we'll take a look at everything all together. So, um, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so if you wanted to take a quick look at the inside of her box, it definitely has one of those, what are those patterns called? Um, optical illusion. Yeah, we have optical illusion packaging going on in here with the squares. And, um, it also... In case you guys didn't notice, I noticed there is no changing room with these, with this series, which I think, yes, it's the only series so far that's not come with a changing room. I don't know if there's anything behind here. Let's see. Okay, no, it's just a blank wall. So this is the wall here, and then you can see on the inside here we have this cool lamp that kind of stacks with blue, white, and yellow blocks all attached together. It's a floor lamp, and then you can see the bubble on the top. On the other side, same same matching lamp. And then on the top there, it says angles. Focus on that here. See if it will show up. It's probably not going to show up, but anyway, I'll read it to you. It says angles. Art is my primary. Be there or be square. Take in everything from a new angle. That's cool. Her name is in her saying. So let's see. We have the instructions here that show you how to put your stand together. Even though nobody can... Oh, what are the battery, battery replacement things for? Oh, you know what? I think we get like a little black light thing. So this shows you everything about the stands and how to put the stand together. Um, I don't use the sitting one because of the way their legs are. If they had articulation in their legs, I'd probably use them. Another thing I noticed about this... Uh, so here is a brush that she comes with. So they, all, they have all come with brushes to this point. We don't have a magazine with this one. We do have it. We have a, like a blacklight poster. So we're going to check out and see if that poster has any blacklight effects. Uh, later on in our video, but this just says angles on it, so it's a nice little poster, uh, a little bit of box art of her, that's nice. And we don't have, I think, with the other ones we had two or three garment bags, and this one we only have one, which has the primary colors on it, so we have red, blue, and yellow with a little bit of white squares. So let's see what we have in here for that. Looks like we have a cool, ooh. Okay, so we have a pleather, transparent pleather jacket in primary colors. So you got a blue sleeve on this side, red sleeve on this side, um, red, a red panel here, and then a yellow parent here panel here, and they're all it's all transparent. It's lined in a black pleather, all on the front, all on the sides, and on the back here. It feels really nice to crafted. I'm excited about this jacket. We do not have a shoe box with this particular series. We just have the hat box, and it's done in a primary blue. She's wearing her shoes, actually, so we didn't need the shoe box, I guess. So this is going to have our accessories in here. So we have a pink uh, black light, I suppose. 
I guess we don't have to get the car if we don't want to for the black light effect, but I think we have to get the car. And what's inside here? We have earrings. These are really cool. So this one's got a triangle that's blue and a circle that almost looks pink, but I think it's a, yeah, it's pink. It should be red, but it's pink. And then we have on this side, we have a, we have two diamond shapes. This one is yellow. Uh, if I can get that to focus, it probably won't. There it goes. That one's yellow, and the one on the bottom is like a reddish pink tone. They both kind of go together with their, well, that one has a black swivel right there. And that one's got a white one, and then that one has a square that's yellow, uh, that's white, and this one has a square that's black. So these are going to be cool earrings when they when we get on her. Uh, I don't know. Comment below. Somebody said that theirs didn't come with earrings, but this mine did. So if yours didn't come with earrings, then you might want to write about it to MGA because they're supposed to have earrings. So we got bangle bracelets here too. We got a round, thick, round bangle bracelet here that's pink. And then we also have a round thick or a square thick bracelet that is done in that neon yellow. That's that's cool. I'm pretty excited about these the jewelry pieces. Okay, so those are all our accessories. Um, you know what I'm gonna do for this? Uh, there we go. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna put her together, and then we're just gonna look at her all put together, and then we're gonna take a black light effect to her. Before I do that, I wanted to show you that I think I only sh I showed you this, the the stand instructions, but not the actual stand itself. So it's just a plain black one, no sparkles, no other color, just plain black. All right, guys. So here she is, all done up, and I probably should have shown her to you without her jacket on first, but I was too excited to put it on. So let's get started here. Her hair is, it's a, it's amazingness all, all by itself. We do have a limited amount, well, we got some, a little bit amount of product here to keep this flat. I'm okay with that as a collector. So, first off, her bangs, we have a little bit of red here. It's almost more like pink. It's, it's more of a pink color. And it's cut and chopped shorter than the rest of it. It's supposed to, you know, be, I don't know. It's supposed to be edgy in angles, you know? So we have black in the middle here, and that black has a good amount of product to keep it there with the neon yellow color. Over here, I think it's just that one eye, right? So we have brown eyes. They all, a lot of them seem to have brown eyes, but they're not all brown eyed, but she, this particular girl is brown eyed. Above this one eye, she's got the neon yellow and then the primary blue right above her eye for eyeshadow and then there's no eyeshadow going on on the other side but that's okay because we wouldn't be able to see it because of the way the bangs are cut okay and um also she has lipstick which i'm actually not too too fond of but the whole overall look kind of mixes with it i guess so her lips have the primary colors there you can see uh that the, the uh reddish pink color there on the other side we have wet red yellow and then blue we also have a little bit of cheek blushing. Turn to the side here, and this is supposed to be like a shaved head. And then we have like a little cross here, a little black cross, that separates to four different pieces that are just white. She doesn't have that going on her other side, but her hair is flipped over in a sense. So you got that neon yellow here. We have that, I don't know, the medium blue there. And then we have black down the bottom here. And then that uh, neon pink color. Back over here, we have white on the top here, which is chopped really short. The shoulder length here. With some black and some blue, also at that shoulder length level. It just goes down into an angle to more blue. And then there is product here that's holding it to the side. Uh, you can see that we put our earrings on, which are really, really super cool. Her her outfit consists of a pair of pants with, 
it looks like I don't I can't tell if they are attached if it's attached to the shirt. It looks like that they're attached to the shirt, but uh, the outfit is giving you like a suspender look. If you guys can see that at all. And then right here we have red on this side and yellow on this side, but the red is more of a holographic fabric. I don't know if it looks it looks and feels as though it's pleather, just like the jacket. Uh, but it's holographic and not see-through. So you get the holographic red, the black stripes going on that match the side of her hair, with the white in the middle here. I don't know what kind of fabric that is, but it, it reminds me of like a bra fabric or something. Do they have undergarments? That's a good question, guys. So, uh, let's see. In the back here, uh, the back of her shirt... If I can show you guys that. She does have straps here that are pleather black. And we're moving down. This is the same fabric as this. Same type of fabric, but this we got yellow here. A yellow block. A holographic blue here and a holographic red. And then we have a white block. A yellow block and another white block. And they're all hemmed. All the, uh, all the seams are lined with black pleather. They do have slits in the bottom here. And you can actually access her shoes there, which are white and black. But we do have a couple of color blocks that are pat that that pink, that hot pink color. And then the heel look kind of looks like it's almost designed like her earrings, or like the lamp that we were looking at over here in the box. But you have a blue ball on the top. Then you have a square that's that pink color, and then it, the heel kind of tapers down, almost to be square, but not quite because it comes out in an angle. And that is the boot heel. So it's good to see brand new boots, not recolored boots, for this series. And uh, that's the same on the other side. I think, are they the same colors? No. They do an opposite, the opposite colors. So same colors, but opposite stacks. So that's pretty awesome. I love the hollow look there. And, uh, of course, we got our brace her bracelets on it, too. I'm not sure if I had to or not. But I did remove her hands to put the bracelets on and the jacket because it's easier. They're removable, so why not? Why hassle with it, right? Also, I wanted to show you guys that she does have her, she does have her nails painted like all the others. The nail polish goes with it goes black on the thumb, black, red, yellow, blue, and white. Uh, same on the other side. I do want to check, and I'm gonna check for you guys. I don't know if I do want to do it off camera or not. But I want to check to see if she's got undergarments, because I think, I feel that they might not have them. So, let me check here. So, her outfit does have Velcro, and the verdict is they have painted on thong underwear like the rest of them do, but no undergarments. Okay. So, these ones are really... I mean, they have a good uh, look to them, and everything is really, really well made. But they are missing a lot that the original series came with. But you know what? These are these are a kind of a special edition series, and a lot of work went into their black light reflective stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what angles has to offer us on terms of black light surprises. So on here it says to remove and discard and pull this tab. So here is our, our black light, it looks like, here. So can we use this black light? Not in the dark. So I might actually turn the lights off here. Alright guys, we are in the spooky dark. Oh wow, check her out guys, okay. So I used to know as a kid that fluorescent stuff would always glow in black lights. But we're checking her out. We're seeing if there's anything hidden here. Ooh, ooh, okay. We got some cheek stuff going on here that we didn't see before. So we got some some paint going on in her cheek here. So you guys can see that. I'm going to pull her up a little closer, I think, to the camera. Okay. So we have... 
some triangles here. One is pink and one is blue. And let's see, do we have anything going on on the other side? We do not. But check out that eyeshadow glowing there. We're moving down. Ooh, ooh, okay. On her holographic pants, they actually say the color. I don't know if I get if I can get that to close up. Is that will that close up on you guys? Maybe. Okay. So that says blue. It says blue on it. And then on down here it says red. <laughs> so those are the, the, her little hidden surprises there. I wonder if her boots do anything. Nope. Nothing going on with the boots. Nothing more than what they are. But let's just turn her around. Anything going on here? Her hair looks pretty cool. Oh, wait. Okay, so the whole the whole side of her head turns pink, guys. You see that? And that is was the white before, so... That bottom one stayed white, but the top three turned pink. That's This is pretty awesome. Way to go, MGA. Yeah, I like this doll a lot. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights back on. Okay, everybody. That was really, really fun. Uh, but uh, we are done with this review. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned. I will be doing some more reviews from the OMG Lights. And this is Angles. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. There you guys the poster. Let's see if it works on here. The only thing I was able to see on the poster that changed, if you guys can see it, is like there's a little dot that appears on the yellow part of her lips and the black light kind of makes it so that the poster's a little pixelated almost like a comic book and that's about it